all right so in this quick video I'm going to show you a very important library uh, which which has a immense effect on our interactivity with the system okay this is called GNU uh, read line library when you perform some interactive stuff on the on the command line this library uh, behind the scene provide you so many facilities okay so I'm going to pick on few of them a very common one if you don't know about it uh, or probably using it without knowing about it okay so read line is an important library which provide facilities to the interactivity in the system okay so let me take a peek on it to to give you some sort of understanding let me go to my terminal uh, I have open uh, on the left hand side you see a vim buffer open I have enlisted all the common uh, command provided by the new read line library and on the right hand side I have open a shell okay so I can show you few of them in that terminal okay so if I go here and just write this is an example of a new read line library uh, this is uh, just an arbitrary uh, you see the read line and colon that's the prompt okay don't focus on it so focus what I'm trying typing so you can see in the first on the left hand side buffer the basics are uh, control B to take you go back on the command line this is your command line right you interact with the West via command line and read line library is an integral part and play such an important and influential role so a lot of people they don't know about it but they use it okay so these are the common facilities provided by this library control B to go back control F to go forward see I'm pressing control <clears throat> somehow my screen is not working so you can see it. that's why I have to tell you the key I'm pressing so you have to take my words for it so control B go back control F go forward simple control D I cannot use because my window manager take up that key so basically it deletes a character uh, to the left of the cursor oh it did okay so I I did um, I okay So uh, to delete a character, you press my. See, my cursor is on a on a particular word. If I do Control D, the character will be get deleted. Where the my cursor on it, any particular letter, if I press Control D, that letter will get deleted. Okay. Likewise, um, say if I want to go to the beginning of the uh, line, so Control A take me to the beginning of the line see the cursor movement on the right hand side terminal uh, control E take me to the end of the line so you see a lot of similarities between uh, Emacs key binding by default read line use the um, Emacs key binding you could change it to Vim if you are inclined to a lot of people did that but I am showing you the default one the default one is the key, Emacs key binding although you don't know about if you are not interested in Emacs but in the shell you probably know this command and using it without knowing it so so the disclosure is these are the Emacs key bind by default used by the general read line okay so control it to go beginning of the line control it to go end of the line okay so and control a to clear the screen which is a very common operation everyone does so control k i will not have any if if i place my character here cursor at the beginning of the if i do control k bang 
it's killing the entire line okay how do I get it back control Y bring it back control K to kill the line control control Y to bring it back okay so if I do control W see uh, if my cursor is at the tail of the world and if you want to if I want to get rid of that word like in this get rid line just press control W gone is kill the word backwards okay so and uh, as I said control you to kill the line from where your cursor is control K to okay so this is an example of genuine read line library okay so if my cursor is here and if I do control K gone from the cursor to the right to kill that control K if I bring it back control Y bring it back okay so you see on the left hand side buffer that uh, there is a different section the basics okay the the movement the killing okay and last what you are not able to see on the very last line uh, control S and control R for searching on the command line okay so generally control R is for reverse search um if i come here and do control r it goes like this because i have a integration uh, with uh, with fzf so if i do control r and control it will show me like that okay so in normal sense it will allow you to search forward by control s and control r Will be to search reverse order in your history in your your in your interact shell interaction history these are very very common operation people all the time do but probably they don't know that it is coming from the read line library which is integrated with the shell or interaction method we have in the system okay so I thought to uh, let people know that uh, these are the basic stuff you, you you might be wondering why I haven't used the meta F meta B you see it clearly explain what it does uh, because my window manager buying so many keys so a lot of meta character are not activated for mine specifically to my environment but it could be work absolutely fine with other other people environment because they might not have integration with those keys with their underlying environment so these are the pretty default stuff okay so if you if you practice those stuff and if you spend a lot of time in command line this will certainly elevate your efficiency on the on the on the command line interaction which uh, which bring benefit little thing okay so there is a there is a page about it uh, so uh, this is a this is the generated line manual uh, I, I probably give the description a link to the description section below so you can click on it so you don't have to hover in the internet to find it out so you can read through all this to get a get a understanding of what it does and how importantly how you could you could use this that is important what it does you can understand but how to use that in a, in a real life scenario is also important so I'll, I'll give you the link in the description section below so you can you can you can open and have a look at it and spend some time it's very easy it's very minimal and importantly is very very important and it is quite integrated so you don't have to sweat a lot about the integration about it okay it's come by default 
most of the system as especially Linux related stuff. So I thought to show you some sort of brief demonstration so you'll be aware what is the root and how it's happening. Okay. So I hope it will be useful. Thanks for watching.